Hi friends, today I'm going to be preparing aloo chaat. Aloo chaat is a very famous street food in India. And normally they use regular potatoes that we get regularly in the market, the larger ones. They cut it into pieces and use it. But during winters and when the winters come to an end, that's when they use this baby potatoes. So these baby potatoes are available during winters. And it is very tasty. It gives that unique taste and it is in one bite. So it is very tasty. What I've done is I've uh, purchased 500 grams of uh, this baby potatoes, washed it and I'm prepping uh, the potatoes for the aloo chaat. You can prep this uh, potatoes ahead of time and you can store this in the refrigerator and use it for many recipes. Not only for aloo chaat, you can use for other recipes as well. So we have washed this potatoes thoroughly, allowed all the excess water to drain out using a colander. Then we are cutting it into halves. You can cut it into halves or you can cut it into quarters, depending on the size of the potato. Now we are going to fry this whole and uh, that's the reason we are cutting it into half. We want the crunchiness to um, be on the outer skin as well as inside. So that's the reason I'm cutting it into halves. So once I finish uh, chopping this into halves, I'm going to cook this in hot water. I've heated a wide pan on medium flame. Now I will add approximately four and a half to five cups of water. Now to this water, I'll be adding coarse salt. I'm going to get this water to a rapid boil. Add the potatoes that is already prepped. I'm going to cook this potatoes for 5 minutes. So approximately 5 to 10 minutes. It has to get uh, tender but it has to maintain that shape again. It should not cook. It should not overly cook. It should not get into a mushy consistency. So the potatoes are tender. Now I have washed it in uh, cold water just to stop the cooking process. Once the cooking process has stopped, then I can transfer it to a colander. So now the potatoes have cooled, I'm transferring it to a colander, allowing the excess water to drain out again. Allow it to sit in the colander for 15 minutes, then you can store this in an airtight container and place this in the refrigerator and use it within a week's time. So now this uh, potato is prepped and it's ready for the chart. I'm going to show you the ingredients for the chart. I've uh, reserved one bowl of this uh, cooked potato. So this is going to be one portion, chopped onion and uh, pomegranate seeds, chili flakes, chaat masala powder, cumin seeds, fennel seeds and black salt. I've already shown you the recipe for coriander chutney and tamarind chutney. I'll post both the recipe links in the description box below this video or you can click the i-card above this video. Now let's get started preparing this uh, aloo chaat. I've heated a wok on low to medium flame. To that I've heated oil. So I've heated the oil in low flame and I've got it to high temperature. Now this is placed on medium flame when I'm frying the aloo. So I've added the potatoes to the hot oil and I'm going to fry it on medium high. So always mm, maintain your uh, heat temperature in your oil. Whenever the oil uh, is hot, you add your ingredient and while you are frying it, you should place it slightly on high and reduce it back to medium again. Now I am going to start preparing the special masala. Using a mortar and pestle, I am just going to coarsely grind the cumin, fennel and black salt. This is the special masala they use in all chat centers. Now if you don't want to use chili flakes, you can use chili powder. In many chart centers, they use chili powder as well. Now this masala is ready for aloo chaat. They use this specially for aloo chaat. Now my potato is frying. I placed it on medium high flame. Now I am going to reduce the flame and fry it on low flame. 
always maintain your temperature while you're frying your potatoes this will roughly take me about 5 to 10 minutes to crisp uh, to crisp up the outer skin and also to cook the potato all the way through inside once the potatoes turn light golden brown in color I'm just going to drain it from excess oil and reserve it on a tissue paper. The recipe in detail is posted on my blog. Blog link will be in the description box below this video or you can click the i-card above this video. For regular updates, do like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. All the social media links will also be in the description box below this video. The same recipe is also translated and posted in YouTube channel. So YouTube channel link will also be in the description box below this video. Now this potato chart you have to serve it as hot as possible you cannot allow this to cool down so this is something like the french fries or finger chips you have to serve it right away that's when it's very nice and crispy so once you have drained out as much as oil as possible on the paper you have to start preparing the chart so while i'm preparing this first batch of chart i'm going to fry the Second batch of potatoes. Now I'm going to add the second batch of potatoes. While this is frying, I can prepare the first batch. This is regular sunflower oil I'm using for this recipe. Many people have asked me what oil I use for frying. It's a uh, regular sunflower oil or refined oil I use for the recipe. Now I'm going to start preparing the chart. In a bowl, I've added the fried potato. Now at this point, you can add chili powder instead of chili flakes. Now I'll start adding all the ingredients one by one. I'm going to add the tamarind and uh, coriander chutney. The coarsely ground cumin and fennel seed powder, chili flakes, onion, chaat masala. I've also added pepper powder, salt and lime juice. That is again optional. If you want, you can add lime juice or leave it out. And also adjust the heat as per your preference. You can add excess uh, coriander chutney if you want it spicier. Now once all of this is mixed, I've served it in a plate, garnished it with chili flakes, little bit of chaat masala powder on top, little bit of lime juice and the pomegranate seeds. Now adding save or the om pudi on top of this is optional if you can find it do add it so now i've garnished it with that om pudi and little bit of coriander leaves and i've served it if you enjoyed watching this recipe do subscribe to my channel and post your comments all the links to my blog and social media will be in the description box below this video until next time this is vidya lakshmi thank you so much for watching Bye bye